All right, so this is the final round of uh, Vagabond Games Guilds Replica pre release. Um, we've got Itty back again, who we saw in round two. Uh, and Tyler. Tyler is on the right there, so Itty's on the left, Tyler's on the right. Tyler is six, so don't, don't shake hands with him. No, that's bad. Bad days. Um, I'm gonna get some red sleeves. <laughs> Some very serious looking, it's a very serious looking deck box. <laughs> Alright, so this is start. Get the cutting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw we saw the deck that it is playing before and look I I think it's a really really interesting deck. Um, but he's gonna take a mulligan there. Gonna bring the hat back. Sorry about that. I don't wanna see my hair. <laughs> There's no one thank, thank, thank you, Judge Amo. Wow. <laughs> so, th th this is the first time that we've done this. Like, we, we'll, we'll probably do it again. Um, Oh, we're gonna. Wow, well, we were thinking about doing it tomorrow, but we don't know how much time we're gonna have tomorrow, so we might do some more on Sunday. Um, I, mean, I, can, I can only play one flight tomorrow. And I, I want to play, but we could always just set it up so Amal can be on the stream because he's gonna have, no doubt, his helper. The sign during a stream. Well, no, yeah, no. I think I think there's a penalty for obstructing yeah, the vagabond exactly sign. Exactly like that. Right? No, but but the, this is actually the second round that Eddie's on the stream. So yeah, it's all good. Um, I'm just I'm just saying how I. He's got really white hands. Yeah. Like, oh, this dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And his sleeves look like. Super <laughs> oh, they like they look bright to me, and then you look around the corner, and it's like, oh, it's still bright. <laughs> it's still bright, but like not as bright. This is like. I, just, I, was, I was just saying that like tomorrow we're probably not going to be able to do anything because I'm going to be playing, yeah. but we're still doing the midnight, so we could just keep doing midnight pre-release yeah. um, and maybe sort out a better internet connection. Exactly. Maybe. The, um, I know the the Rose Park one is better, but it's all um, it's all allocated by data, so you just uh, put it uh, like that. Yeah, no, we'd smash that. That's fine. You don't want to smash it because then you can't do event reporting. Exactly. And that's bad. But. That's alright, that's alright. Well, we know for next time. <laughs> yeah. And we'll just. Get like a fat fucking data mobile stick out. Yeah. Do something like that. Anyway. Just go. Alright, we're good. <laughs> yeah. So, at least 40G. <laughs> at least. <laughs> So we've got some surveil action going on. Have, have you seen Eddie's deck? It's actually really interesting. <laughs> He's got um, the thing. I feel like looking at what everyone's here. Like, I was right, Boris is still good. Like, because it's always good. Yeah, it's always good. Yeah, it's always good. Gogaru is definitely good. Like, it's definitely a deck you want to play. But it's also kind of like this. What's this about? 
does the things. Wow, that's pretty nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets gets out of control a bit. And that's and, and, and that's the card that we were talking about in Indie's deck uh, from last time. Not not his pre release promo but the um, the other rare that we were speaking of yeah, yeah. in round two because it's not come out yet but if it does that's uh, then we can talk about it yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um so tyler looks like he may have gone into demir um demir seems to be you know like, it, it's a pretty fun game to play with with Victor, Victor. So Victor won his round one. Uh, looks like he might have lost his round two, and is now somewhere else. Um, yeah, he's <laughs> Look, I, 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 I'm just enjoying watching. I'm, I'm getting lost in, in people playing cards. It, it's great. And he's swinging in. So I'd, I'd love to be able to do a stream that's got all the fancy graphics and all the live counters, live um, totals, and we can pull up pictures of the cards and stuff like that. Maybe we will try and do something like that for the next pre-release, uh, which is... God, what is it? The other Ravnica block? The other Ravnica set, rather? Uh, that could be interesting. <laughs> so, um, kills Ravnica uh, and then. I don't have any creature now. Yeah. Right here. That's a whole one right there. So, we'll then see Azorius, Rakdos, Gruul, Orzov, and Simic come back into the fold. Um, and they'll be bringing bunch of different things uh, like there'll be some stuff that'll that's gonna um, enhance a couple of things Tyler's got a relatively interesting way of dealing with his land like Eddie getting some work in there so a bit of two for one action going on. That's right, to one, and there's the Lich coming out. I've seen the Lich before. Uh, that was the um, that was Eddie's previous. So the underground Lich. Uh, if you draw a card instead, look at the top three cards in your library, then put one into your hand, and the rest of them into your graveyard. Yeah. Oh, look. It, the foil actually looks amazing. It looks great. Yeah, I 
So a couple of, couple of triggers and interactions going on. That underarm which is um, it's very like it's a real interesting gun. Um, especially to play in Yeah, I saw like holy shit with that milk. Especially playing a limited format. Um, yes, there's milk in this format as well. It's definitely like in a constructive format. It's, 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 it's probably going to be quite good. <laughs> so, trigger from the underground niche there. I'm going to top three. So, he gets to choose one. Does not have to reveal it. Uh, I'm going to get two. I'm just going to get so that that's probably the really strong part of it. You get to choose one of three cards. Uh, so you can choose what's best for your situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some stuff. Is whenever you draw a card. Um, so it's not just when you draw a card from the turn, it's whenever you draw a card. So, you, you know, that, that, that if you've got a lot of card draw, it's not going to be good. Um, <laughs> With, uh, with undergrowth, I think is the new mechanic. Uh, that's probably going to come in handy. Undergrowth, that's what it is. Uh, uh, so undergrowth for each creature in your graveyard, stuff happens. Um, so that's one of the new mechanics. Or returning mechanics? I'm not sure. Let me have a look at the guilds of Ravnica. So it is... You know, it's a new mechanic. It's a Golgari keyword. Uh, so, uh, cards with undergrowth abilities get stronger for each creature in your graveyard. The longer the battle rages on, the more dead there are to fuel the potent Golgari endgame. Um, and the example that they've got there is a Rhizome Lurcher. So, I guess you can look that card up on the internet. We're using mythexplorer.com. Uh, I, I, I can't I can't stress enough um, if you're looking like if you want to go to you want to look at some board games. Uh, Vagabond's got a really real good selection. Uh, they do have an online store. Vagabond is it? Uh, Vagabond game and collectibles. Uh, they do Dungeons and Dragons bits and pieces. Uh, so you can you can uh, they obviously do pre-order so MTG and all the MTG products as well. Ah, we've seen that. Uh, uh, something, something must go kind of coming in again. Seems to be a recurring, uh, recurring demand card that seems to be used a lot. So it is Watch of the Mist uh, flying when it enters a symphony of the two. Uh, it's a three four flying for five. Right, so it looks like we're going to game two. I guess this is like a rule. 
So that, that was a really interesting uh, looking under of cut. I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> so, was that the mood mark painter? Was that the painter? The card you played just in? Enters the battlefield, uh, target creature gains menace and gets plus X plus O. Yeah. So it, the undergrowth of that is when move mark painter enters the battlefield, target creature gains menace and gets plus X plus O until the end of the turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. It's a 2, 3, for 4, but uh, Eddie just uses that to win the game, giving his uh, underground lineage uh, quite a lot, actually. It was uh, plus 7. So he was able to swing it with an 11, 3 menace creature uh, title was unfortunately tapped out um, and that means that he has won the game so game two uh, Tyler probably opting to start I keep bumping the uh, alright Tyler Mul Mulliganing <laughs> that would be awful. I'm not just talking about before we even try and suss out for the next pre release. Um, a decent internet connection that we can actually stream live from, so I don't know if that means, because that looks like getting like a prepaid data stick or something like that and just smashing some data. Um, but the thing that we're really going to need is upload speed. So. Is that a red mana tile that you've got there? <laughs> Looks like well, it could be very much a red splash. Um, and we go in Fire Mines Research. Uh, whenever you cast a resource spell, put a charge counter on it. Uh, remove two, draw a card, remove five, deal five damage to any target. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Bit of Grix is actually good. It's pretty good. It's like a thief of sanity. So it's a 2 2 flying. Uh, what do you do? It's kind of a plan range. Look at the top three cards of the player's live reaction. On one of them. And, um, wow, it's, look, it's got a lot of ticks. Thief of sanity. I will, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what the cards are. Uh, so we can talk about the rare that Eddie was playing. Nearly dead. They're again. so close. I'm like, Whoa. So he's uh, got the Guild Mages Forum out again. Uh, very, very cool. Oh, I, I can't believe I'm getting good on this. I'm just like, Regardless of what format is, I will find a way to force them. Jesus. I'm going to come back. Yes, 
Just the luck, luck of the cards. Yeah. 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 Ah, oh, look, I don't know what the card that Eddie's played is. Looks pretty cool. So the thief there triggering. So we'll see what's going on. It's quite good actually, because now I, I get an idea tomorrow, for tomorrow when um, we must have a rose rose rain, and evidently we'll get paired against each other. Like Drew, you two guys, you have a couple of cards now, so it's pretty cool. Oh, it's just adding more and more to that blue-black flyers sort of meta that's going on a bit. Um, I sorry you cast for a two two, but like it just starts starts getting rid of things. I'm going down to I'm not forty. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it and you may spend mana. So any mana. Any time. So that's really cool. That could definitely end up being a four hour. Because not only do you get your cards, but you get their cards to play. That, yeah, no, that, that, that card is pretty insane. <laughs> Thief of Sanity. Currently three dollars forty nine on Star City Games Club. Casting a multi callus plus one plus one to counter on this guy. Seems pretty good. <laughs> I have to take this off. So look, the, the, this, this set is looking more and more amazing. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm just like I'm just as controlled as, as you guys are yeah. Let's get destroy and let's cry too. Prince of Fame. Seems pretty good. It's your legendary creature hunter, I guess. There's the lich again. Lich is just, um, man, look, I, I, I'm pretty, pretty convinced that it's just going to be card advantage, card advantage, card advantage. Um, So, Underarm Lich. What is Underarm Lich worth? Eight dollars currently, but that's pretty good. <laughs> So Eddie Payne, uh, four life, which is part of the Underarm Lich's uh, special abilities, making it indestructible, but it does tap it. So. Taking some damage. From the thief again. So. That thief is definitely doing some work. So. Thief of sanity. I've seen some, some aggressive play from the Black Flyers. Um, I've seen some magical play from, say, green light decks. Uh, Tyler here splashing some red. And Eddie drawing three of the Lich. <laughs> Figuring out what he can and can't do. It'll be interesting to see what Eddie's going to do. Looks like he's put some thought into it. He's had, he's had that extra sort of sight into the future. Uh, drawing three is very, very helpful. So he's moved my painting. Thanks. Plus X plus O for undergrowth. 
So, Eddie coming away from the wind, uh, with the wind, really, really cool deck. Uh, twice we've seen that deck now, and it is very, very cool. Um, again, I just want to thank um, all the team here at Vagabond for having us along. Uh, it's been great, it's been a fun night. Uh, I've enjoyed myself and can't wait to get into playing the pre-release tomorrow at the Rose Park Hotel. Uh, Guilds of Ravnica pre-release here at Vagabond Games. Um, we're gonna do Crack and Packs again. We're gonna, like, we'll, we'll get into some MTG Arena, but we're gonna have to get into it on probably Sunday, maybe Monday night. Um, but just we plan to do it tonight live from here. Um, but the internet wasn't playing nicely, um, and it just means that we couldn't do it so um yeah thanks uh thanks for tuning in hopefully it gives you some insight into playing your pre-releases that you're going to you know, have a look at them on the way there in the car or like over breakfast or something thanks very much um and yeah if you thought it was good give us some insight into what we can do better um and like we already have some ideas of what we can do better and then we'll try to do a bit for next time. Thanks very much, see you later, bye.